What's up, family? How y'all doing, man? How y'all living, man? What's up to all my supporters, y'all? I hope everybody's doing well. We got Mr. Robot, Season 3, Episode 5. Classic shit, man. I'm, I'm hyped to talk about this today, man. What's up with all y'all? Much love to all my Patreon supporters, man. I appreciate y'all to the death. Thank you so much for y'all continued loyal support. Miss Lorraine, you know, you know what it is. Um, Varvar, you know what it is, man. All my people, bro. I appreciate Kendrick Perkins, all y'all, man. Christian Manzanato, um, Brandon B, Gabe, Georgia, um, Insurge Tech, if I'm saying it correctly, um, Alex, um, did I already say Gabe? I did. Um, shit, right, Ryan. Kuso Moko, I can't remember how to pronounce your name, brother. All of y'all, man, all of y'all support throughout these months on Patreon. It will never be forgotten, bro. Y'all are forever stamped on my channel and a part of my life, man. Thank you so much for all y'all support and every other Patreon supporter that I can't um say right now off the top of my head, bro. All love. Oh, Varys Nalo. Um, shit. Cosmic Mind, um, Cody Pavy, Ellis. <laughs> you feel me? I appreciate all y'all support. Thank you. A fucking another one. I'm sorry, bro. Uh, Clay Smith, my brother, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate what you commented and said last week on for last episodes. Um, three three x four. If I'm correct, um, I appreciate with your support. Appreciate your words. You doing what you said in that message, bro? Is how. If you a part of this fam, you feel me? That's what you're going to do, bro. I, I appreciate that you were on Patreon with me and saw everything. And you still watching on YouTube, you feel me? And you still leaving a comment and you still leaving a like on my video, bro. I appreciate all y'all and especially you so much, man. Thank you. Now, we're going to move on, bro, to my YouTube family. Y'all know what it is, man. I hope everything's good with y'all. Um, This episode... This episode is a trip, man. I was getting, I was getting, <laughs> like, I was getting so hyped when I was editing this shit, bro. Just watching it because it, it's been a while since I seen this episode. So it's like, yo, oh, it was dope to get back into it. But again, to all my people out there, to my supporters, y'all, real quick. Um, don't think I'm, I'm I'm forgetting about Mr. Robot or like I'm not doing it no more or I'm I'm sliding y'all or some shit. Don't ever think that, bro. It's just time and this shit takes a lot to, uh, time to fucking edit and I got a lot of shit on my plate. You feel me at the moment? Um, due to my own fault. That's all me. But if you really were to go back, you feel me and think when we were trying to finish out season two, we had the same dilemma where the wire didn't come out for a month. You feel me? When I was trying to finish out season two. And the same thing happened this past recent when I was trying to fin finish out The Wire. And as um, The Wire season two, you feel me? And as well as I got other things on my channel, you feel me? Tokyo Revenge is One Piece. Those are animes that are ongoing dropping weekly. Which Tokyo Revengers just finished. Last episode just aired this past Saturday. But those were ongoing weekly shows, you feel me? So those are priority. So if a week goes by and I couldn't have dropped anything, you feel me? But then the day when that part, that one thing comes out, you feel me? I got to put that out, bro. It's for most exposure, you feel me? So I got, I got to do that. But don't think I'm slighting y'all, bro. I love all of y'all, all my supporters, everybody that hit that like button, everybody that be in the comments, and everybody that just be checking me out and fucking with me, you feel me? Even if you don't comment, bro, I appreciate you. For accepting me into your life, bro. Real shit. So, um, don't ever think I'm slighting y'all, bro. I got love for all y'all. And I got so much love for this series. How could y'all ever think that I would drop this? <laughs> and that I would drop it without saying anything to y'all. Like, who the fuck? Like, I ain't, bro. I ain't no bitch. <laughs> like, I'm a real human being, bro. So, um... Yeah, I appreciate all y'all. We're going to get into this smoke. This episode is on some shit, and I don't want to hold off anymore. All love to all of y'all, man. Thank you. If you'd like to support me even further, link is in the description for my Patreon. We drop every fucking week, about six days a week. Six episodes, seven episodes, many different things. Snowfall, Atlanta, um, The Wire, you feel me? Um, One Piece, Tokyo Avengers, Hajime no Ippo. Monster, Demon Slayer, a whole bunch of shit, man. So I appreciate y'all to the death, man. And we gonna get into this smoke. Let's get it. Let's get this shit going. Much love to all my Patreon supporters, man. I know what it is. I'm ready, bro. I'm hyped for this. <laughs> Let's get it. Hold on. 
Anfang ist schwer. Is it German? Well, he just say that's German. Anfang ist einfach. If I'm correct. Beharrlichkeit deiner Kunst. Yeah, I'm correct. What did he just say though? Maybe someone didn't hear, I don't know, but I lived in Germany for a couple of years. For about like three years of my life. Is everything okay? Oh yeah. Everything's fine. Hey. I suppose this is an interesting opening. <laughs> A lot of tension in that elevator. I love, I love, bruh. <laughs> Yo, when it opens up to Elliot in the elevator, bruh. Now, I have a question, because I don't know. Is this, this is Mr. Robot right here still in this moment? Or did Elliot awaken right here? Or did Elliot awaken after the dude spoke to him? Spoke to Mr. Robot, the German fella. So, uh, I don't know, but it's dope, yo, and... I, I looked up what he said, you feel me? And it just basically, he just said, to begin is easy, but to persist is art. You feel me? So that's interesting, man. And of course, anything is easy to begin and start. Well, not really. <laughs> not really. It depends on what you're doing. But uh, but anything to come up with an idea and be like, okay, let me let me start this and then go about it. You feel me? Um, but to keep at it and to struggle, you feel me? Persevere through adversity or whatever to keep going that's an art bro and i and I, I thought that was just so dope man so that was a dope opening and who was he talking to though like why why was he talking like why did he just turn to say that to us bro was he even really there you feel me was that all in elliot's head too like i i don't know but i thought this was dope like something slipped away from me what is it i can't put my finger on it did my daily program crash when code runs, it should run straight through without interruption until all of its tasks have been completed. Unless something goes wrong, a runtime error. I even impress myself. Every morning starts like this, graphic sex talk. Thankfully, I'm able to tune most of it out. <clears throat> the truth comes out. Like this, they're either insecure or they're full of shame. It's interesting. Which one do you think it is? <laughs> you go ask him too. <laughs> what do you think you are? <laughs> Sorry. That was hurtful. I can just sit here in silence. Really? Is this gonna end up being a beautiful accident? That's a bar. <laughs> a beautiful accident. <laughs> I spoke too soon. I'm bigger than this, man. And in a way, what you just said actually helps me. Because bullshit. You know what? I'm gonna drop some truth on you, dude. Since we're opening up here. Since we're opening up here? What the fuck wrong with him? <laughs> Yo, Elliot really be fucking crushing these niggas' souls out here, bro, when he speak the truth to them. <laughs> like, talk about, fuck, I was supposed to say that to you, bro. Yo, he be crushing niggas' souls, bro. But he deserve that. The fuck you be? You coming up to me every every morning when I come in here? All you all you got to say is about smashing and fucking bitches and this and that and all this other shit. Like I I don't give a fuck, nigga. What are you telling me all this for, bro? You feel me? Like I would have told him personally. Like, bro, I don't want to hear all this, man. Like I don't even know you like that, bro. <laughs> like you feel me? Like like let's you know let's start uh somewhere. You feel me? Before we like what's up with you, bro? But um, I find the dude funny, man, and I like I love how he I find the dude funny, and I love how he didn't get angry. Bro. <laughs> like he literally he got mad for a moment, and then he just sat for a second, and then just let the shit go. He was like, you know what? That actually helped me. You know what? You're right. You feel me? I'm not being real with myself. Yeah. And, and with others. So I just thought that was dope, man. And how he feels like he really has a friendship with Elliot. And it, it, it tries to say, um, well, since we, we since since we um putting everything out there. <laughs> but this is dope, man. I've never penetrated. I've never penetrated. I just... I've never penetrated. <laughs> oh, wait. I already had that meeting. That was last week. What happened this past weekend? Girl, 
but it was going to be like this Monday too, right? Or something like the, the stage two. Why is my account locked out? Man, what the fuck going on, bro? This is confusing. Like, this is me. <laughs> this is messing my, my viewing experience, bro. What's up? Hey, I got locked out of my account. Can you do a password reset for me? Oh, I remember. I'm tripping. Um, didn't Angela do some shit? Wasn't he supposed to be fired, actually? Password. Did someone try to get on the domain as me too many times? Or has eCorp locked me out? They locked you out. Discover my shipping hack. Yep. To check my monitoring. Yep, server. look at how paranoid he is. <laughs> that was great, bro. It's hitting him too late, though, that they already found out. This morning at 6.07 a.m., the Dark Army tried to run stage two. My patch stopped them, but it doesn't change the fact they're trying to blow up the downtown building today. It's lit, bro. Let, let's get to it, bro. Fuck. <laughs> How you gonna stop this, bro? I don't even think... I don't think it's gonna be stopped. There's no way. This shit is too big. Ellie, Ellie ain't got that much... He ain't got enough power to stop this shit by himself. Wait, what? Help me figure this out. Do not leave me. Stay focused. I'm here. I'm focused. <laughs> Security. Finna score him out the building, boy. Where he run off to, though? Again, I gotta say it, bro. Mr. Robot always got fucking fire, dope openings. How they just elevated that shit quick. You feel me? We we entered this, and I didn't. I I, could, I didn't remember at the time during recording, but Mr. We ended off last episode with. Mr. Robot being in control and staying with Angela and getting word that we got seven days. I think it was seven um, until um, stage two. So I forgot that he'd been staying with Angela this entire time until he just awoken this <laughs> until just now. You feel me? Runtime error. So dope. Um, and as well as, bro, Elliot, I ain't never going to leave you, bro. You know, I'm a rider. <laughs> Stop playing, man. But as well, I forgot my bad. But as well, the just the paranoia and all it is, bro. When he found out that, hey, bro, um, they they must have found out what I did, and then he turned and just <laughs> the paranoia, yo, they fucking killed this shit. Excuse me, I had a question. We're for looking you. for Elliot Alderson. Do you oh, know where he is? Yeah, yeah, he's on floor eleven. You know they have the best bathrooms. <laughs> you know they have the best bathrooms. <laughs> They don't even believe him. They think he's... <laughs> and it's not even... They don't think he's lying for him. They just think he's... <laughs> Did you hear what she said? I wasn't in Friday. Yeah, what the fuck going on? Did my program halt? Why can't I remember? Wait, Mr. Robot. Yeah, of course, Mr. Robot. What day is it today? You know it's going to be a long week if you got asked on a Monday. Is everything all right? <laughs> you know it's going to be a long week when <laughs> you ask that on Monday. <laughs> Listen to me. Did you fall on me? Did you see him? Okay, just calm downstairs. I'm getting fired. I can't leave until I... Elliot. Elliot. This is gonna be a mission, boy. How we gonna fucking pull this shit off, bruh? Oh, I gotta pay attention to the whole one-take shit that I heard, bro. I'm going to attract attention. Definitely. I have to remain calm. Take deep breaths. Be cool. Don't panic. Slow everything way down. Blend in. Look bored. Broken. This is how they do it, isn't it? This is how they do it. <laughs> how they're able to watch the world fall apart around them. Because to them, this is normal. Mm-hmm. That's facts. It's all they know. Don't you wish you could see yourself through mine? As we step through our code line by line, debugging it to find the cause of our runtime error. Runtime error. I'll have to get someone off their workstation. <laughs> Here. She's the perfect candidate. The old white lady. <laughs> Hi, Edie. I'm Henry from IT. Henry. Hello. I'm going to have to contest that. I've hardened my install further than the standard configuration. Including a restricted host based firewall rule set. It's not gonna work. Yeah, it's not gonna work, bruh. <laughs> Fred over there uses go to my PC all the time. Let me introduce you. <laughs> she a snitch. <laughs> she is. 
She said, you know what he done? You know what him over there? He, yeah, that fuck. <laughs> he be doing this shit all the time, bro. Go fuck with him. You lost it up again. You snitch. Fuck you. <laughs> I would have cursed her to fuck her. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that to no old woman. I got respect, <laughs> but I would have never talked to that woman again, boy. This isn't a matter of debate, nigga. We don't got time. Fuck you, mean. Get the fuck up. <laughs> Just start knocking people out, Elliot. Fuck you. She snitched and ratted this man out so quick, bro. <laughs> you see how people will just turn on motherfuckers like that? <laughs> we're in the fucking, we're in. That shit just scared me <laughs> when you see his face, bro. I feel like we're in the Matrix right now. Neo running from the agents, bro, in the building. <laughs> He just entered the fucking conference. <laughs> the, the, the conference room. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck you doing? <laughs> He's smooth, dog. One second, just... It took a minute for someone to say something to him. Man, what the fuck you want? What you come over here for? I think you're in the wrong room. I'm sorry, you are. <laughs> I'm sorry, you are? <laughs> Let me check my calendar. Services for body all oh, he got to do his bullshit. <laughs> You're right, so embarrassing. I'm down one floor. 43, 12, 6. <laughs> He's trying to get, get more time, bro. We don't give a fuck where, where you supposed to be. We just know you ain't supposed to be here, motherfucker. So go. <laughs> yeah, just go into a mental breakdown, bro. That'll call, that'll save you time. <laughs> when you find yourself at the center of one of those storms, yeah, you just gotta breathe. Facts. Just let go. Get it done. Get it done. Fuck nigga. <laughs> Get it done, bitch. <laughs> I love Elliot. <laughs> Man, stupid, bro. Look at him on the move, bro. This all is in one take. Like, it does feel like it's all in one take. I've been paying attention. Okay, everything in this, in this, yo. <laughs> the fucking movements, the paranoia. Like, I loved it. When Elliot was in that staircase, you feel me? All the phone, and then you heard that door slam, and he looks down, but then he can't go. I love it, bro. Him going through, getting, I mean, coming out the elevator, being like, I gotta breathe. I gotta, I gotta, you know, be calm. Put on a face, like, put on a mask, like everyone else in this motherfucker. And I love how everything just slowed down, and then he was like, Wait, hold up, man. I'm going to get fucked just by, by doing all of this right now, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. But it was dope. And then um, just the woman. You feel me? That fucking snitch, bro. That old woman is a fucking rat, bro. That shit ain't right, yo. Fuck people like her, yo. Oh, oh well, um, when, when, the problem, when something comes up to them, you feel me? And, and, and they want to put the blame on someone else or do whatever. Nah, fuck that, bro. You ain't right. You ain't right, man. The paranoia again when he had the when when he found the spot. You feel me to be at? But then he had. I like. Well, first of all, I like how he got up in that dude's face. Like this ain't we, ain't. we don't got no time, bro. We don't got no time, and we don't know when this shit gonna blow. You feel me? So it's like, um, you got to get the fuck up. You feel me? But um, moving on from that, just the paranoia again and just him moving on from there. But then when he sees the feds right there, it's like, like that fucked me up. But how he just went in that room and just, <laughs> and just bullshitted all the way through that. And I just love the end of that. You, what, what he say? Just let go. <laughs> and get it done. <laughs> That shit was hilarious, man. But just the paranoia and just this whole shit is all in one motherfucking take, bro. Him leaving out of there, rushing to that elevator, bro. I love all of this, man. The paranoia, the vibe, and the music yet again is unmatched, bro. So now all they got to do is look to see what floor you about to stop on. What should I do? What would you do? That's right. You never answer me. Is this why I created Mr. Robot? To help me get out of situations like this? 
at least he interacts with me. Man, fuck you. Now, I'm not playing. I'm not paying into your bullshit no more. Talk to your father, nigga. Fuck you. You know, if he were here, he'd tell you exactly what he told you when he said to walk away from there. This is a zero-sum game. Accept the truth. That building is going to blow up, and there's not a damn thing you can do to stop it. Mmm. <laughs> Gang, Mr. Robot, my nigga, bro. Like, no, you so you don't just want to blow it up. You feel me? There ain't nothing, bro. There ain't nothing you could do about to stop this, my nigga. We were doing just fine without you. You feel me? Like, once I do that, there'll be no way for the Dark Army to run stage two. He brought up Vera. You're about to be kicked out, Einstein. So the real question is, where he at, bro? Cause he still deserved to die, bro. He got to be put in the dirt for Shayla. While you're busy spinning your wheels trying to prove that piece of wisdom wrong. Right. He cool with that. <laughs> he cool, bro. You motherfuckers can burn, nigga. I don't give a fuck. Well, what's your next? Well, let's get to it. Don't tell me what's your next move. Just get to it, nigga. We ain't got time. All these people, all these people down here gonna die too. Everybody on on the on the on these floors throughout these streets gonna die too. Clear everyone out now. Hopefully that gives everyone enough time to get out. I no doubt it. To do is find a way to Depends if they took you seriously or not. Some some dispatchers don't. <laughs> I have to tell you something. There's a code signing machine on 23. We have I'm working with the FBI. This shit ha Alright, so I, again, bro, like, not again, bro, I don't think I say this that often, bro, I don't, I really don't think I say this, man, much love and, and, and just, I don't know what to say, bro, like, to all, to all those out there that, that really suffer from a dis dissociative, dissociative identity disorder, man, much love and just, I don't know, care, respect, I don't know what to say, bro, because y'all deal with some things that I would never, under I could never understand, bro, unless I personally had that, suffered that same disease, so, um, to have multiple people in your head, man, and, and, this shit can come at different times in your life, like, it, it, it's crazy, bro, and you don't know who's in your head, brand what they gonna do when they take control of you bro so it's and I, i've been looking at like it's crazy yo so i really like all the love and respect and and i just wish y'all nothing but like positivity man because it gotta be truly something bro to, to just one second be be you and then uh, you a whole nother person bro and you have not you have no control only that person that's in that light so i just want to say that man and the moment when elliot steps outside yo like that the, the, the production for this episode like all this, this crowd everybody out here yelling and then obviously the killer bro darlene saying those words bro the motherfucking truth nigga i'm working with the feds i'm a rat you feel me? And just how the, the shit got quiet, bro. And like you just hear it. Like, I love, oh my God, this is a fire episode. I appreciate y'all to death. The truth is out. And we're going to be back with part two of this. I'm aiming for it tonight. You feel me? But if, if I can't, it'll be out in the morning. I got y'all. Much love to all my supporters, all my Patreon supporters, all my YouTube family, bro. Much love. Um... And give me a comment. Let me know what you feel about this episode, this part of the episode. And leave me a like, bro, if you fuck with me, bro. And if you don't, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. I love y'all to death. Y'all be safe. Peace.